बिसमीम् अल्लाम दिस इज़ रेनी बजना लेक्चर जोलॉजी फ्राम गवर्नमेंट गर्ल्स डिग्री कॉलेज मोरो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट इन वर्टिबेट्स कॉडेट्स सो नाउ लेट्स मूव टू स्टार्ट वर्टिबेट्स कॉडेट्स अगेंथा गेंथोस्टोमेटा एंड सुपर क्लास पाइस एंड इट्स क्लासेज ओनली Let's move to the craniata or vertebrata. Craniata, it means they have a cranium box or cranium, with cranium or vertebral column. These are caudates in which brain is protected inside a skeleton brain box that is known as cranium. They are also called vertebrates because in the member of this notochord is a change or replaced by a vertebral column. This group is divided into two subphyla. First subphyla name is agantha. Ah uh, means not. Agantha means jaw. This is a small group of vertebrates which include only one class, cycloestomata. Therefore, is known as agantha also cycloestomes. The member of this is group superficially resembles the fishes but lack the jaws. Therefore, they are known as jawless fishes. They are elongated eel-like animals without scales or paired fins. This group includes hangfish, lamprey. A hangfish and a lamprey both are the parasite in nature. This is a very important MCQ. Now the second subphyla of vertebrata is ganthostomata. What gantho means jaw, stoma means stomata means mouth or pore. It means mouth with the jaws. This is a large group having upper and lower jaw present. Are absence of teeth. Ganthostomata is a further divided into two groups: superclass parses and a tetrapoda. Let's move to start general characteristics of fishes or pisces. Fishes are all are aquatic. They live in marine water. They, it means they are found in the sea or oceans, and also live in fresh water. The skin of fishes is covered with scales. It means epidermal layer of fishes are covered with scales. They possess two main types of scales: palcoid and cycloid scales. Fishes are able to swim through their fins, and fishes are are the gills breather. They are breathe through the gills. Fishes have single circuit, plain or single circulatory system. Why it have single circulatory system? Because fishes have a two chamber of a heart. Therefore, they have a single circulatory system. The body of fishes is divided into three region: head, abdomen, and tail. Mostly fishes are edible, but some are not. Fins of fishes maintain their buoyancy, maintain the body balance, and help in swimming. Some fishes' fins help also in a reproduction. Dear students, this figure shows the bony fishes' external structure. So let's start from upper quillum. What is upper quillum? It's a gill gill cover. In bony fishes, found only, and bony fishes have a Paired fins showing this figure. These are the pectoral fins. These are pelvic fin. These are anal fish, and these are the lentil line of bony fishes. This is one is adaptation in a bony fishes only. These are dorsal fins. These are the caudal fin or uh, tail fin. These are the homoceral fins. As you see or observe this, these are the homoceral. Their structure is same and equally. No different between. These fins, therefore, these are the homoceral or uh, diaspheral fins in bony fishes. All fins help in a swimming and buoyancy or maintaining the body in the water for the swimming purpose. Anal fins help in a reproduction in a some bony fishes. Okay, here inside that perculum and mouth region, here the gills are present for the purpose of respiration because the gills are the respiratory organ in the fishes as you know the fishes are gills breather now let's classification of superclass pisces they are divided in two classes class chondrocytes is also known as cartilaginous fishes this group is also known as elsmobranchii it comprises of marine fishes whose skeleton endoskeleton is made up of cartilage therefore is known as cartilaginous fishes are chondrocytes fishes 
The skin contains tiny, sharp, enameled coated denticles called plaquoid scales, which form their exoskeleton. They have a lot of teeth, but they spare the fins also in it. Their example is shark, skates, dogfish, etc. Second class is class osteocytes or bony fishes. Word osteocytes means osteo means bony, cytes means fishes. It means those fishes. Their exoskeleton is a mod made up of bony plaques that is known as cycloids and their endoskeleton is a made up of bones therefore they are known as bony fishes. They all are marine and freshwater fishes. This group is also known as teleostomy. It is the largest class of pardate. The gills are covered by gill cover that is known as upper culum. They possess bony skeleton hence known as bony fishes. They have a tail fin, usually bilobed tail fin, that is known as homocereal or diaphyseal. Their examples of bony fishes are eel, sea horse, flying fish, glowfish, etc. Here in this figure, classification of fishes is observed or watched. Ostracite fishes have a two classes, ray fin fishes and lobe fin fishes. About 20,000 species of bony fishes found around the world and chondrocyte fishes and their example is present here and about 850 species of cartilaginous fishes found around in the world. Thanks to all watching this video.